Good morning or good afternoon whenever you're watching this. My name is Ed Wolf. I am the Kitsap County Commissioner from the Central District. Today we're out here at this beautiful, beautiful Silverdale Waterfront Park. You can look around and see the kayaks behind us and happy to have three, four, five or six of the great movers and shakers in Kitsap County today. We're going to talk about a couple of things. We're going to talk about the water trails and the Water Trails Festival. We're going to talk about the Home Builders Association, the businesses in our community that are helping us with our development. And last but not least, of course, we're going to talk about the Central Kitsap Community Council and their vision as to what will happen with the campus in Silverdale and what we will be doing within the next two or three months. So stay with us. Welcome back to Kitsap Commissioner's Corner. I'm Ed Wolf again, Kitsap County Commissioner. With me today I have John Kuntz, Kathleen Neckley. We are here today to talk about, or at least this segment, to talk about water. And if you just look around and see the beautiful Dyes Inlet and the Silverdale Waterfront Park, uh, this should be on the cover of a Life magazine if there was still a Life magazine. But today we're going to talk about something specific, a National Water Trails designation big stuff for the natural side of Puget Sound. And we're going to talk about the Kitsap uh, Water Festival. Uh, John, what is your role in, in the Water Festival, the partnership, uh, and the designation specifically of a National Water Trails? What does that mean? Uh, well, the National Water Trail is a system that was put together by the National Park Service. Mm -hmm. And it's actually part of a, uh, the National Recreation mm -hmm. Trail. So. Mm -hmm. It uh, kind of puts us in the same league as land trails like the Pacific Crest Trail and the Appalachian mm -hmm. Trail mm -hmm. and such. So there's only 17 trails in the whole United States and we're one of them. And we're the first saltwater trail on the system and our trail is- In the to, nation. In the nation, yeah. 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 So, and our trail is 371 miles long. Uh, the land distance that would be from here to Montana. So this is a very, a lot of water. Uh, we live in one of the most spectacular marine environments in the world here, and for paddlers, it's a destination worldwide. 371 miles of water trails? Right. Yeah. Did you go out there and measure all that yourself? Uh, I actually did do the measurement, <laughs> but um, I, I didn't paddle all 371 miles, but I yeah. did paddle 150 miles in 1996 when okay. I first did the trail from okay. uh, Bell Fair to Allen, okay. Washington. Okay. What is your, your background in terms of what are your interests here at uh, Olympic Outdoor? Uh, yes, I own Olympic Outdoor Center and we're uh, 30 years old. Okay. And so I've been in the paddle sports business here in Kitsap for a long time and helped okay. develop paddle sports. And so my interest is in develop, initially it was in developing the trail for paddlers, but it's gone way beyond that now that we have the Water Trail Alliance okay. and its purpose. What is this, I'm gonna to get to you in a minute, Kathleen. What does this Water Trail designation mean to someone living over there, let's say uh, in, uh, in Manette, or someone living over on Marine Drive, or someone living, tracing it? What does it mean to citizens of Kitsap? Well, I think there's three things that it means. First of all, it means hope for the environment. It, it focuses on our natural environment here, which is for the protection and uh, of not only the marine environment, but the species that live here. Uh, second of all, it's important for recreation for people that live in Kitsap. It mm -hmm. gives us access points, uh, soon to be over 200 access points on the Kitsap Peninsula. So you don't and have- the county's a partner with you. A with absolutely, yeah. 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 Um, in fact, uh, Commissioner Geld and I will be paddling from, is it Lions Park? Uh, it's um, Evergreen, Evergreen Park. Evergreen Park to Silverdale right. for the Water Trails Festival this weekend. And my wife also will be paddling. What is this Water Trails Festival? Well, the Water Trail Festival is actually quite a few different organizations mm -hmm. that are that have gotten together. I'm with the Silverdale Chamber. I'm the director there. And I was actually approached 
from John a couple of years ago just to check out one of the paddles mm -hmm. that he had been on and then I was asked to um, go ahead and do a festival around it and basically what what happened with that is we ended up collaborating with a lot of different organizations um, Kitsap County, the Port of Silverdale, the Port of Brownsville, the Port of Keyport and then a lot of volunteers throughout mm -hmm. the Silverdale Chamber and so we've been working together to put this festival to um, celebrate mm -hmm. the dedication ceremony on okay. the 27th. Okay, that's this uh, that's Saturday. Yes. A Saturday. And so after the paddle from, uh, did you say Evergreen? Evergreen I, Park. I'll, I'll go to the right place. Right. <laughs> Evergreen Park. And we arrive here. Yes. What happens on Saturday uh, here for a festival? Who's going to okay. be here? What are you going to be doing? Right. What are you doing, John? Do you have paddling lessons? Kids are going to be yeah, here? Yeah, we have an intro to paddling so okay. people can come down and just try it. It's a basic lesson and then we, uh, they get a chance to go out actually on the water here. It's going to be a beautiful day. We expect pretty calm conditions. By the way, it's going to be 80 today. Here. Yeah, 80 yes. today, yeah, yeah. probably 88 by uh, Saturday. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's an opportunity to come out and experience the paddling part of it, but there's also a lot of other activities that right. Kathleen has set up. Right. Well, we will be, uh, the Port of Brownsville will be starting their Brownie Challenge paddle from Brownsville into Silverdale at 8 a.m. in the morning, mm -hmm. and then at 9.45, I believe, um, yeah. the, the paddle will be leaving from Evergreen to come into Silverdale, and the Suquamish tribe will actually be joining and leading the paddlers in by canoe. They'll be doing a blessing. Um, while they're doing their paddles, while you're there on the paddle, we're going to be starting here in Silverdale with a car show and we'll have a motorcycle show. There's going to be a lot of entertainment going on. We'll, um, the U.S. Marine Corps will be here with their boat mm -hmm. and people will be able to do tours. The Carlisle II, which is the original Mosquito Fleet, will be here from 10 to 4 so people can go out on the dock and they can tour the boat. We'll also have um, uh, hi, now I can't remember the name of the company. Um, Jim Gunderson will be coming in and he's diving under the dock and he'll um, be recording that so people can see what's actually oh. underneath the dock. So that, that will be really wonderful. There's going to be some educational pieces around the water trails. There's going to be face painting, balloon tying, um, there's going to be a stage set up. Mm -hmm. We'll have Roller Rita here and she'll be um, rolling around um, on roller skates and doing hula hoops. There's just going to be a lot of festivities. Um, so if you don't like paddling, lots. you can come see Roller yes. Rita? Yes. Do what yes. again? She's going to roller skate around <laughs> okay. and do hula dancing. Okay. So I'd like to see how that so, works. So <laughs> for both of you, this is yeah. for adults. Yes. This is for yes. kids. Correct. This is for seniors. Yeah. Yeah. This Correct. is for anyone who wants Correct. to come out on an 80 degree day yes. at this beautiful location in Silverdale Waterfront Park mm -hmm. and just have fun in our community. Yep. Is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. How, how do you, um, how would someone out in the public find out more without listening to us right now? Uh, how would they find out more about this weekend and mm -hmm. also the National Park or the, the, or the um, National Parks designation? Well, first trails. of all, they can Google Kitsap Peninsula Water Trail, mm -hmm. and there's several sites they can go to. Visit Kitsap.com mm -hmm. is probably the main site, uh, but there's several others to get information on the trail. We have a water trail map which shows the designated areas that okay. um, citizens can go to and access the water. Okay. John, uh, Kathleen, thank you for being here today. <laughs> We're excited about what's coming up, and we're especially excited about the natural side of Puget Sound and, uh, and balancing the environment with the development that we talked about earlier with the business community on, on Commissioner's Corner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to Commissioner's Corner. With me, I have Teresa Ozinski. Teresa, welcome. Thank you. Teresa, you're going to tell us a little bit about yourself and what your organization does, but I know you're the Executive Director of the Kitsap County uh, Home Building Association. Tell us a little bit about what they do and what your role is within the county with the HBA. Well, thank you very much for having me yeah. here today. It's a real honor to have the opportunity to chat with you, particularly here, right by the Silverdale, Silverdale Veterans Memorial Park, which yeah. of course the Home Builders Association had the honor and privilege of participating in mm -hmm. the development and construction of. So it's a beautiful location and I encourage all of the community to spend time down here. Uh, as the Executive Director of the Home Builders Association, I have the distinct privilege and honor of representing almost 300 businesses here in Kitsap. We are an association of trade professionals and we've been here for 60 years. This is our 60th birthday this year 
we're quite proud of that. And our primary objective is to represent the needs of businesses in this community who are interested in and affected by construction. Obviously, we're the Home Builders Association, but we really are so much more than that. We are the advocates and the interests that mm -hmm. care about the economic value of construction in our community. So, Teresa, tell me or tell the audience, how does the HBA, the Home Builders, how do they work with the, the county in terms of growth and, and development in our county because you can just look around Old Town, look around Seattle, or Seattle, look around uh, Kitsap in Silverdale and you can see massive, massive uh, things that are happening, good things, I mm -hmm. think. How do you partner, uh, HBA partner with the county? Well, partnering with the county is really one of our, I think, our greatest achievements of late. We have a wonderful relationship with the county commissioners, including you. Especially and me? Especially you. I'm kidding. And, <laughs> of course. And uh, obviously your department heads are extremely important, but we're fortunate in that we have great lines of communications with your department heads, particularly the develop community development, but also with public works. Both are very integral to proper planning, mm -hmm. growth, and development in the community. And we partner, I would say, best by our ability to participate in uh, various work groups that go on. These are important public policy issues. When you start talking about where development will be, what it will be, what will density be, mm -hmm. how do we vision mm -hmm. the community in the future, we, the Home Builders Association, has the benefit of so many great mm -hmm. businesses mm -hmm. with very smart folks that work mm -hmm. for them that donate countless hours every year to Kitsap County working through stakeholder working groups and other um, types okay. of meetings where okay. we talk about these things. What are some of the for the public, uh, what are some of the challenges that we're facing uh, from an economic development community uh, perspective, from the county perspective, and working together? Because I feel, I believe very strongly in the public-private partnership. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk, uh, address a few of the challenges that we're facing? I think some of the, the biggest challenges are going to be as we continue to develop under the Growth Management Act, which is you know, a couple decades old now. It's been in place mm -hmm. for quite a while, but ironically, even as long as it's been in place, we're still sort of finding our way, not just the development community, but local government as well. And so as the market shifts and changes, I think one of our biggest challenges is how do we meet the requirements of GMA mm -hmm. while making sure Kitsap can continue to offer housing and work opportunities that are special and uniquely fitted to the people that choose to live okay. here. How do we make all of that work without losing our identity as a community? With the reality of where we are in the world today, and certainly in our world in Kitsap County, why is this public-private partnership, if you believe this, why is it so important in our world here in Kitsap County? Well, I think that we all realize that dollars are scarce. And so I think public-private partnerships allow for uh, maximizing the dollars and maximizing the knowledge of a diverse group of folks. It's government, mm -hmm. which has an important role, and the private sector that has an important role. And bringing those together allows the community, the taxpayers, I believe, to have the be best opportunity to maximize their tax investment in the community. Mm -hmm. You're bringing folks that have an understanding of the free market and, and where development should go based mm -hmm. on the demographics mm -hmm. and, and pressures that come mm -hmm. into the county and allowing the government that has access to grant funds sure. and, and Puget Sound Regional Council tra transportation dollars, all of those elements together okay. to really maximize the investment of the taxpayer. Something that's always interested me in terms of the Home Bill Association, and it's not even on my script, so uh, work with me if you would on this. What is the Affordable Housing Council? The Affordable Housing Council is actually the political action committee of the Home Builders Association. Its purpose is to allow for the members of the association a place to invest their dollars that then is used to support candidates that support construction. It has a wonderful history of being really bipartisan or even nonpartisan, and that may surprise some of the viewers. The real focus is what candidates are interested in serving Kitsap County that mm -hmm. understand economics okay. and understand the importance of, of proper development. This is, this is great stuff because, as I said when I, when I open, look around and, and see what we have in this county. <clears throat> Excuse me, and especially what's happening here in, in Silverdale, sort of the engine that's moving a lot in the county. Um, I want to thank you for your time today, but let me summarize. Um, 
I think that I would like the public to know that this public-private partnership is critical, absolutely critical to, to any, any project in Kitsap County. But specifically, I want to make the point that this public-private partnership, whatever we do, it has to be achievable, and it has to be financially feasible, and it's got to be balanced. And what do I mean by balance? We can have the economic growth that we're having. We've got to balance that with the natural side of Puget Sound, this beautiful, beautiful area that many of us moved here to, uh, to, to make our home. So thank you for being with us today, Teresa, and uh, happy 100th birthday. What did you say? 60th. 60th birthday. <laughs>
decided by him, he was um, prior to his passing, mm -hmm. uh, that 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 um, area was available and um, there was negotiations that went on and it was for the county mm -hmm. to uh, consider having a um, an area for the yeah. use of the citizens. Okay. So that was right. uh, many years ago. Stacy, I'm not avoiding you intentionally. Ah. I'll, I'll, I'll get, <laughs> I was waiting I'll, my I'll, turn. I'll get, I'll get to you in just a minute, but I have one more question for, for Bob, uh, if you would, Bob. What type of, or Natalie, or any of you, what type of uses would the Central Kentucky Community Council uh, envision for a new community campus? Let's let's speculate and say that the Silverdale Community Center will be will go down, demolished. All of the buildings behind that will be demolished. It's about 3.3 .3 acres, something like that. What does the Central Kitsap Community Council envision going back into that space if all of the buildings uh, were raised? Well, I think each one has vision, so I think it would be good to hear that. Yeah. The first thing I'd say is that the vision for the campus itself is as a gathering spot within the Silverdale area, mm -hmm. kind of as a core. Mm -hmm. Because Silverdale has up to now been basically a bunch of stores, infill. businesses, infill, infill. Yeah. Um, big box things that, you know, that developed around the mall. Mm -hmm. um, so a gathering spot. Um, one of the things that's really important is meeting space. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of organizations in the community that are really kind of bootstrap organizations. Yeah. The, um, the dues are almost minimal, but they represent all kinds of interesting mm -hmm. groups. And they f kind of form a fabric for the mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. And they need basically cheap meeting space. Mm -hmm. And that meeting space is about to go away or has gone away um, because the old Silverdale Community Center just can't do it anymore. Yeah. Would you like to add something, Natalie? Yes, I think that's that's true. And um, C-Stock, is, is, um, you've been kind to let them finish their production in August. Uh, in August. Um, and I, of course, they are very interested in finding mm -hmm. uh, a new home. But I hear a lot from the from the citizens about the need for meeting space, mm -hmm. and and I, you know, all of us have our personal mm -hmm. uh, uh, vision of it. But I think that a um, uh, a building, a uh, gathering place, as Bob mm -hmm. mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, for the community to uh, to <coughs> meet and me. to have opportunities for young people mm -hmm. and uh, senior citizens mm -hmm. to. Um, inter-involve and mm -hmm. I think there's a, a great potential for us having okay. a uh, community a center of some kind mm -hmm. that would um, enhance. Mm -hmm. I always like to think that someone drives into Silverdale and says I'd like to live here. Yeah. So I think that's an important thing to always think that whatever we do mm -hmm. that should be our outcome. Excellent, Excellent points. In consistent with each other. How about you, Stacy? You know, and I would add, I don't have the history here that you two do, but that's exactly what we did. We drove in and we said we'd like to live here. Oh, and that's great. We watched as where the, the location where the Y currently is sat mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. a field of weeds for mm -hmm. so many years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. now that's kind of like Mecca for our yeah. family. Yeah. Yeah. And so we've got the recreational mm -hmm. piece, mm -hmm. and this will be wonderful as we begin to find yeah. ways to round that out mm -hmm. with. Uh, meeting mm -hmm. space mm -hmm. facilities mm -hmm. and educational opportunities and performing arts. So um, to have that all in mm -hmm. one centrally located yeah. space. And have some green tremendous. space as well. Lots of green space. It have green, <laughs> space green space as well. <laughs> if I could add, excuse me, one, one thing. Uh, when, when I started this process in meeting with the, the council seven, eight months ago, the first thing I said was, Silverdale needs a core, it needs a heart. And right now the public tells us uh, through our outreach programs at the county that that the public believes the mall is the core uh, the core of Silverdale. Mm -hmm. I see a heart, you know, heartbeat with green space and trails and people with baby, mothers with baby carriages, the fathers with baby carriages. That's what I see. And I'd also like the public to know that, that we feel, I feel very strongly, and I, I believe my commissioners uh, or my colleagues would, would share this, the building have to be demolished. They have to be demolished for two reasons. One, public safety, and the other, health. It's not healthy there, and I would say, uh, because of potential liability issues, they have to be demolished, and I believe they will be demolished mm -hmm. in the very near future. Okay. So moving on, um, I think the stars are aligned. I think the, the 
the commission, the Central Kitsap Central Kitsap Community Council is aligned. I think the the business community we heard from earlier from from the Home Build Association, Teresa, they're aligned. I think the nonprofits are aligned. I think all of the central players are aligned for something to happen at that location. Stars are aligned, and and I believe we're moving in that direction. Uh, so let's talk briefly about about um, Stacy. Many of the, or most of the, the, the tenants of the Silverdale Community Center uh, have left, except for the, the uh, except for Seastock, and we've extended them to finish their August performance. I think they're doing Pirates of Penzance right now. We're in that one right now. Oh, you're my in daughter. daughter. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> your, your daughter's Thank in. Thank you very much for extending. Yes. Yeah. You Two like more that shows. plug? You like the plug? The, the yeah. Pirates of Penzance. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, that's playing right now. Yeah. So tell me, what have we done? We being the county, working with the Central Kentucky Community Council. What have we done to relocate individuals, uh, tenants there? So the CK Council was really inspired by public comment from um, the Kitsap Computing Seniors at mm -hmm. one of our early spring meetings, where they came to us and to you and they said, you know, we're being displaced here. Okay. It's going to really impact our membership. It's okay. going to impact how we host okay. our meetings okay. and how we provide okay. things down the road. All right. And so from that, we formed um, a concept around having a community town hall. Okay. We put okay. out a community survey to ask mm -hmm. questions like, mm -hmm. what does the ideal community mm -hmm. center look like for mm -hmm. you? What kinds of things do you need from okay. meeting space? But we're finding locations for, for, individu for individual oh, tenants. Oh, certainly. We're, we're certainly. not displacing them completely. We're helping. Let me, let me uh, just summarize the discussions, if I could, because I know we're, we're running out of time on this segment. One. The train is moving on the Central Kitsap Community Campus. The train is moving and will continue to move as we meet with interested parties, as we meet with potential stakeholders to develop a financially achievable model or redevelopment strategy, if you will, by the end of the summer. I'm going to say that again, okay. to develop a financially okay. feasible strategy, redevelopment strategy, by the end of the summer. That's how quickly the train is moving. I will say that now more than ever, I believe this is going to become a reality. That is the Central Kitsap Community Campus. It's going to become a reality. So I'd like to thank you, Stacy. Thank you, Bob and Natalie for, thank you for, for all us. of the years. Well, you two anyway. You're a real <laughs> newcomer. For all of the years that you, you've put into this organization and our community, uh, we're better off because of it. I want to thank all of my guests today talking about development and business in our county and specifically in Silverdale. I want to thank the, the, the environmental portion of our show, the, the trails portion, and certainly I want to thank the campus uh, individuals, uh, the community campus. We're, we're doing remarkable things in the county right now. I'm feeling very good about it. It's exciting for our county. It's exciting for the whole community. And I want to thank you all for stopping by today and uh, checking out Commissioner's Corner. I'm Ed Wolf and I'll see you again in a couple months.